Hi guys, Sam Marsden here from the Wolf Hunt channel. So before I start the book review, I want to talk about some of the ideas and misconceptions around dyslexia. Most people are going to see dyslexia as the inability to read and write. And this is wrong. The issue is a lot more complicated than that, and let me explain why. Not being able to read and write is more a symptom of someone with a dyslexic mind. So what does that mean? It means that there's a deeper underlying issue that results in people with dyslexia struggling with literacy. Some people will see dyslexia as a disability. This is also wrong. In my many years of understanding my own dyslexia and looking into the subject, I find dyslexia to be a massive benefit in my life and in the lives of other people. To give you an example of this, I worked for the Red Bull Formula One racing team, where about half their staff presents with dyslexic behaviours. Adrian Newey himself, the head of the team, the aerodynamics department, he's massively dyslexic. Rob Marshall, second in command, head of the mechanical engineering department, also dyslexic. These two men succeeded because their dyslexia allowed them to innovate in ways other people just didn't see. Following their example, I set up my own racing team as an undergraduate student. The team was called Project Velocity. With no money, we had to innovate constantly to find cheap solutions to producing a high quality land speed motorcycle. We started with a wooden prototype to sort of size the bike around me, and then we moved on with all that information to producing a CAD model and a scale wind tunnel model as well. We did lots of testing before we committed to building the final machine. You can see in the images on screen the chassis design we went for and the aerodynamic shell. We ended up racing the bike at Pendine Sands in Wales. This bike, this motorcycle, was capable of 250 miles an hour and it was built in a farmer's shed in Northern Ireland. This was only possible by the brilliant insights that several team members had on how to manufacture different parts of the bike. The different aspects of this project were a classic example of dyslexic strengths. Dyslexic people normally have a very good spatial awareness. It's what makes them great engineers. In addition, their out-of-the-box thinking helps them solve and see solutions to unique challenges. This is why in motorsport, dyslexic engineers are highly sought after. In my career, my dyslexia has benefited me massively. It's allowed me to see problems and challenges in a different way from my colleagues. And I've achieved all of this without being able to spell my own middle name. If dyslexia was truly a disability, I would not have achieved all the success I have. From being a mechanical engineer, working in Formula One, and now being a robotics engineer. It's my dyslexia that's made me who I am. So what is dyslexia underneath it all? That's complicated, but also really simple. Dean Braganier, in his talk, The True Gift of a Dyslexic Mind, link in the description, talks about how 20% of the population display symptoms of dyslexia, and also how dyslexic people disproportionately succeed in four main fields, engineering, entrepreneurship, architecture, and the arts. Dyslexic people use the right hemisphere and frontal lobe more than conventional thinkers. Dean Braganier goes on in his talk to say about how dyslexia is genetic and runs in families. This is because it's to do with the architecture of someone's brain. And it's something I've seen in my own family. It's also important to note that dyslexia is on a sliding scale, where people can present with mild to severe attributes. And what causes these attributes? Well, they're caused by dyslexic people making long and abstract connections within the brain itself. This neurodiversity results in them having decoding issues when it comes to spelling and grammar. Also, they can struggle with heavy rule-based systems, focusing on one task, or even boredom. But the trade-off is that they are more creative and can see things from a big picture perspective. Honestly, I used to hate my dyslexia, but now I wouldn't change it for anything. 
And that's because the success and benefits I've had as a result of it outweigh all the difficulties I went through as a kid. I see my dyslexia as a gift. It gives me huge advantages over other engineers. And that's where I'm gonna leave it today and wrap this video up. I hope you enjoy the video series. Like and subscribe and hit the bell to stay notified. And until then, I'll see you next time.